LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hey, welcome back. Uh, hope you're looking, uh, you're watching us and as we continue to provide coverage through the final phase of flight of Crew 2's uh, approach and docking to the International Space Station. That's exactly the phase of flight we're in now, Jesse, is approach and docking. Now, we just described that the Dragon itself is now uh, complete with the rendezvous phase and entered into this new phase. So the Dragon itself is going to uh, be prepared uh, for the next phase of flight with a new set of flight rules that are going to be joint uh, with the control team over on the International Space Station side. So we're going to check in with Courtney Beasley over in uh, Mission Control Houston to see how the teams over there are preparing for Crew Dragon's arrival. Courtney. Thanks, Gary. The crew is awake on station now after waking up at 1 a.m. Central Time, so just about 15 minutes ago. After their post-sleep period, which ends at 2.30 a.m. Central, the crew will get right into preparing for Dragon arrival. Victor Glover will be in the station's cupola using special software to track Dragon's approach and make sure it's staying in the expected zones. Once Dragon is docked, Victor Glover will be primed to move right into hatch operations. He will start by opening the large hatch at node 2 forward, giving him access inside the pressurized mating adapter. The crew will then have to pressurize the vestibule, which is the small space between the hatches on Dragon and the space station. This was exposed to vacuum prior to docking, so the crew will need to fill it with air and make sure its pressure is nearly equal with the atmospheric pressures on Dragon and the station. Glover will use a small valve on the station's hatch to slowly introduce air into the vestibule. Flight controllers here in Houston will monitor pressure and temperature readings inside and verify that everything is leak-free before we get ready to open up the hatches. And we have such a great camera view here. You can really see the detail uh, on Dragon. Again, those four bulkhead thrusters. You could almost read the logo, the Dragon logo on the side of the vehicle. <laughs> That's right, we'll get even better views as it makes its way uh, even closer to make contact and capture with the space station. There it is. <laughs> yeah, based on the trajectory here, we may even anticipate a capture a little bit earlier than anticipating. We were looking at about 2.10 uh, a.m. Pacific time. It might be at uh, maybe closer to 2.07 p.m. The features of the space station coming into view very clearly. Yeah, you can see a lot of the detail there. And as you mentioned, the uh, Crew-1 Dragon. This is a fixed station on the big loop. Procedure review complete, ready for docking. Houston copies. All right, that was confirmation from Victor Glover aboard the International Space Station from the space station side. He is go for docking. The soft capture ring itself is fully extended. SpaceX soft capture ring extension is complete. Additionally, we did beat the sunlight for the Dragon Eye filters, so we are not going to command a hold. Some of the features there, you can see a lot of the visiting vehicles on board station at the bottom is a Russian Soyuz vehicle that delivered crew to the International Space Station. Uh, just in front of that, or actually uh, above that is the Crew Dragon Resilience docked to the Zenith port. 
Once Crew Dragon Endeavor arrives, there will be two Crew Dragons attached to the space station. Capturing extension will begin shortly. Dragon will continue to a waypoint two with the additional lighting assessment occurring at 110 meters as previously noted. For awareness, if sunlight results in the loss of the Dragonite geo filters, Dragon will autonomously retreat back to waypoint one, remaining on closed loop control using the time of flight filters. I'll copy. We're 115 meters in closing. Never cut these off. All right, so that's great news. We passed the 100 meter checkpoint that the ground operators were referencing, making sure the sun wasn't interfering with the optical sensors, the Dragon Eye, uh, that are part of the guidance and navigation and control system board Dragon. We passed that check mark. We're good to go. We beat the sun there. Uh, so we're now inside 80 meters and closing. Dragon will pause at 20 meters. That's designated as waypoint two to conduct a go, no go poll for the readiness on both the Dragon side and the International Space, Space Station side, making sure uh, everyone is good for docking. If we are go, we expect to dock uh, during this pass over an orbital daytime. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop. Ground is now go for final approach. Upon confirmation of crew readiness for final approach, we will enable the approach. Please confirm crew readiness. And a reminder, once Dragon is inside the crew hands-off point, retreat and breakout are no longer permitted. Never copies. Again, we uh, are now moving into the CHOP, which is the crew hands-off point. As I was mentioning earlier, if there is an abort, it will need to be done autonomously by Dragon. All right, we did get confirmation. Approach two has been initiated. So Dragon now uh, making its way inside the 20 meter hold point. Hard capture, and what that hard capture means is 12 physical hooks will connect the Dragon to the space station. Great views, Dragon just six meters away as the station and Dragon fly in tandem 263 statute miles over the South Indian Ocean in the background. Five meters. We're five meters and closing. Copy five meters. In this view from Crew Dragon looking at the International Space Station, it looks like it's this very slow and steady movement, but in reality, they're moving at 17,500 miles per hour. Dragon, SpaceX on the big loop, soft capture confirmed. Happy soft capture confirmed. Great news with that call out, that soft capture is confirmed. Form a hard capture and we'll officially mate uh, Dragon to the International Space. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop, hard capture is complete. You are go to open visors. Copy hard capture complete, opening visors. So an incredible uh, past day uh, watching this mission that Dragon Endeavor has reached the International Space Station. It will spend approximately six months docked there until it's time for Crew 2 to return home via a splashdown in the Atlantic Ocean. And now that Crew 2 has arrived, we're less than a week away from the return of Crew 1. On behalf of SpaceX and NASA, thank you for watching today's webcast and for your interest in this exciting second rotational crew mission.